Hey everyone, we are back. I uh, just finished up hiking up uh, outside. <laughs> I'm one of those weird people who like uh, hiking in the rain and cold, so we don't have to see any other people. I saw one other person uh, on this entire hike, so that's great. One thing I wanted to point out, I haven't navigated and haven't started for a reason. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I'm hoping it's clear on the screen, obviously. I hope I'll zoom in. But um, I'm at Carl Sandburg. Um, and if you guys have followed me along, you know my normal test route is to go to here, Henderson County Habitat for Humanity on West Washington Street. I haven't been to that location, specifically 230 South Washington Street, in like a month. I've had to do the 104 stop because I had to do a point because navigation wasn't working correctly. It is now, it's now able to recognize common destinations I go from my current location. It knows I go to this location very often. So it's suggesting that I want to go there, which is freaking awesome. So now I can just go to my, uh, I'm just going to tap on this. I don't have to use voice commands. I don't have to search through my history. I don't have to do anything. It just automatically suggests like, hey, do you want to go to the same place you went last weekend? And actually, yes, I do. And so now it's just going to navigate the same way. And because this is awesome, because we also have altern alternative routes, I can go choose the route by default. I don't have to get onto the road and let it reroute itself. This is great. This is a great quality of life improvement, everyone. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, one thing I want to note right before I turn the video on, someone went the wrong direction. This is a one-way road. You can't really tell because um, right about where this guy is walking, you can, there's an arrow right there. There's an arrow. Uh, on the road and it's covered by the leaves and so human pilot from south carolina a different state uh in north carolina uh didn't realize this is the one way and went back the opposite direction this unfortunately this is the way my car also wants to go the car doesn't acknowledge this is a one-way road and of course i have to navigate out of here because of that i can't let it you know drive through the parking lot because of that um Let's kind of see how it does here. Once I get on the main road, then it's probably fine. Oh, wow. That person is flying. Okay. Let's go ahead and able it. And let's see if it's going to freak out right here. Because it's... It, Yes, okay, so it, I did that purposely to see what it would do. And obviously it made it, because it was like, well, I thought I was on this road, I thought I needed to turn right, because it was following, it overread with vision, which is great to see, that they're starting to value vision more than the map data. Let's see how it aligns here, so. Okay, not, not a great alignment, because if, you, if I bring up the camera here, there is not enough space on the right side of the car to let another car by. Uh, so that's a problem. Um, it's not inherently, you know, it's just kind of a kind of a dick move. Um, you're blocking the way so someone can't make a right turn there. Also, it didn't read the speed limit sign, and it it's actually 20 here. And this is new. I didn't rec I don't remember ever seeing this before. No, I've never had the camera up. This this the, this was probably with the 36 branch. It's probably new. But um a lot of nice a nice quality of life improvements. They're just slowly optimizing everything here. Uh and it's so nice to see that. So it braked for that car, which um I knew it wasn't going to um come out in the road but my car is being overly cautious. So it braked a little bit. However, it didn't brake super hard to where it's just annoying. It was a phantom brake still, you know, false slowdowns. But um, it wasn't anything like, you know, it wasn't a nuisance basically is what I'm trying to say. Okay, we were slowing down a little bit for this car, which is great. Um, great, it had a little pause hesitancy, but it didn't, brake for that car crossing in front because it knew it was going to be out of my way before I got there, which is awesome. Like, I want to wipe my wipers. This is, <laughs> there's some, 
um, pine needles stuck here. It's really annoying. Um, but I also don't want to, like, um, mess up the vision at all. I'll let it wipe it on its own. So we're about to approach this roundabout here. We'll see. This is the one point of contention. Last update was great with roundabouts. I didn't record the videos, but several times I, I went through this roundabout. And it was great. Super smooth, waited for traffic. It needs to stop. Oh, I know it. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, it's slowing. It went, it's being too slow coming through here, but smooth. <laughs> Obviously, it's, um, I guess it either got lucky or it knew more than I do. I don't know. Because uh, I was going to slow down and pause right there and wait. Because I thought that Subaru could have kept on coming. But maybe it looks at the wheels. I wasn't looking at the wheels of the car to know, hey, it's not continuing the turn. It's going to exit the roundabout, so it's good for me to go in. That, that's always an interesting observation. Um, to see how the car responds to something I think, you know, it's going to mess up. You kind of you try and learn how the car is going to react. Uh, over time, with enough driving, you kind of get a sense of what the car is going to do. Each version is different though, so it's, it's hard to tell like when there's a new major version like this It's hard to say what the car is gonna do like this great You know I had a little bit of pause at first But I didn't realize the car was gonna keep on going and then I kept on maintaining my speed That's exactly what I want to see. That's great behavior um, from my point of view it's Starting to rain a little bit more. I really hope before it doesn't pick up and rain I really want to see if this turn right here will make it this is the one turn that's given the most headaches on this route since basically starting it. Um, it always it has a very short turn lane right there, and it's never been able to make it. Um, well, it's made it like one or two times, but I think I got lucky to be honest. Um, like we had no traffic or something like that. But um, gonna see um, what it can do here. And I'm, well, see, the speed limit is 35 right in here. And it's 35 all the way in through the railroad track that's past where I'm going. The railroad track is um, up right here. But, I don't know. I, like, I, I don't usually like going 35 mile an hour in here. I usually slow down a little bit. But maybe that's just, it's fine. I definitely wouldn't be going 40. See, it, think, it thinks we're going into a new lane right here, which is not the case. See that blinking yellow up there where that red car, where the SUV got in? That's where we need to get in. Oh, it's, is it doing it? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can do it. That's great, everyone. Let's see if it's going to do it. That gives us a chance at the best drive ever. Honestly, it really is so far. Okay, it's top for the van. You could have used a blinker van. Okay. Okay, I had to press the accelerator to tell it to go. But, um, if that van used a blinker, it probably, maybe it would have gone. Um, but yeah, it has to know those things. It, like, it was being overly gotcha. It did the right thing. Like, it, it should have waited and did wait for that van. That's exactly what we want to see. Now, let's see how it makes this turn up here. Oh, we're too hard of a break. <laughs> Sorry, Onyx. That's interesting. I didn't know. So a couple other people noted that behavior that it seemed to get distances wrong. I guess between the car in front, seemed to not, you know, break soon enough. I guess I, or it, it breaks as if it was closer, basically. Yeah, we are clear. We got a car right here. Excellent turn. Gave room going around that car. That was great, actually. I would have done the same thing. I would have gave, gave just that amount of room going around that car. Let's see if it gets in this turn lane here. This is basically the last real area it's going to mess up at. So it does... It doesn't need the turn single on until here. 
So it's a little bit better on this entrance here. It's a little bit less jerky. Is it gonna wait for this car? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a little bit close for comfort for me, um, personally. But it made it. Nonetheless, it made it. And so, it's, we, that this is so far the best it's ever done on this route. And in the rain. Mind you, in the rain. So we are here. So let me just go ahead and turn in the parking lot. It'll be really interesting how this behaves once we are including parking lots. Because, like, I, like it's going to have to find a spot. It's just going to park anywhere, right? Oh, I'm going to have to actually use my mirrors. Okay, no, I, no I'm good. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, this is one of those things. It's just like, that's going to be a complicated problem, everyone. But yeah, I'm super happy with this version so far. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to do Main Street after this, and we're going to see how it goes. And we're back, everyone. So this is a scenario where, like, the B-pillars might have an issue trying to pull out of a parking lot like this. I mean, basically, what Tesla's relying on is that people are going to stop for the car. Like, if I just creep out super slowly, I mean, we kind of have to do the same thing, to be honest. Um, so it's hard to say if the car would... um. So it thinks we have a sep separate lane here, which is it's not a separate lane. I think it's just realized that. What's it going left for? Wow, okay. Well, you saw that. <laughs> wow, what, what the heck was going on there? Okay. I'm not sure what was going on to cause that. See if you guys can tell me <laughs> tell me what you think. Clearly that's um a big mess up. And I think it's I, I've noticed multiple times the car doesn't like when you start it right before like a turn or something like that. It needs like time to like understand where it's at and in, in space and it, it takes a little bit of driving on an easier section of your know, straight road before it knows where it's at. So I had to press the accelerator right there to give it a little bit more confidence, but otherwise it handled that well. I'm just going to let it go straight down this road here. I don't think it should have any reason to turn. No, don't disable. It's not, it's not raining that much. You don't need the wipers on this much. There you go. I'm afraid it's going to disable it, which I guess we don't have any other turns. But I don't, I don't, still don't want it to disable full self driving. There we go. But yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, that turn, I don't know what. It, okay, so it's saying it's degraded now. But I'm hoping it doesn't, like, that might just be for lane changes, but it's dumb. Like, if you look at the camera, even the rear camera is clear. Look how clear those look right now. It's just the, it's just the, hard-coded thing if the wipers go so fast turn off full self-driving <laughs> even if even if the cameras can see perfectly clearly it, it just doesn't allow full self-driving to work okay good slow down for this truck right here so it slowed down before it got to the truck and then maintain the slow speed to continue um, closing the gap okay these people decided to go <laughs> at the wrong time and it braked after they were already passed <laughs> it kept on getting closer as they were crossing but then once they were all the way across then it decided to brake such an interesting logic. Let's see if um, it will actually turn into the right place this time. Maybe the map data will allow it to turn here this time.
Nope, it's just gonna... It's just gonna go down there. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's like if the waypoint is too close, it do it doesn't let you route it. But if you if you if I did it here, it, it'll work. Let's see if it's gonna turn. I'm telling it to get in this lane because this is where we need to go. Okay, so on this entire route, we had one disengagement. For, I'm gonna blame based on me starting it really late. If we had started further back, it would have been fine. And wow, it's starting to rain a lot harder now. Um, but um, yeah, so obviously, it's hard to say if it's, is it the best it's ever been? I'd say yes. That's the best it's ever done this route. Um, especially consider it's in the rain. Um, definitely the best. The navigation, clearly, as you can see, based on my first video, based on this video, navigating the places is a problem. And hopefully they, they do fix that eventually. They, they have to for proper robot taxi. But yeah, I think that was pretty good overall, everyone, considering. I definitely had one really weird mistake, and hopefully Tesla looks at that. I could hit the camera button. So yeah, we'll see what, see what that gives us on the next drive, everyone. I'm going to wait for this rain to pass a little bit, and we'll be on our way. Thanks for watching. Bye.